Hooray! Kev's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, etc, etc. Um, apologies, my voice sounds a little bit weird still. I've only recently got it back. If you didn't notice, I was gone. Thanks for the support. Um, those of you who did send wishes of wellness, etc. over the last four days while I've been off suffering in bed with flu, it was very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you to the crazy people who kept the daily views of the channel over 5,000 views a day while I wasn't putting out any videos. So... If you've been working through the back catalogue and you've just caught up with this, you probably didn't even notice I was away. What you're witnessing here is a live-ish um, fitness test. It's not going to be released at the normal time, probably, because I'm recording this at half past three. Um, so, assuming I make it to the end of the video, I'll try and get this video out today because it's been so long since I've done one. So, it won't be in my normal four o'clock slot. But it's basically my way of testing to see if I'm well enough and recovered enough to get back into doing the videos, get back into the daily vlogging, get back into going to work, because I've been off work for the last three days now as well. Um, fingers crossed, all of that will be true, and I'll be back doing all of that stuff from tomorrow. Um, but why not use this video as a way to experiment? Because it, goodness me, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Season 8, Part 5 of non to Legend. I'm Kev and coming up on today's video we have the final two games of the regular season. Um, we're away against Lorient and at home against Saint-Étienne. Um, the situation that we're in, and I've got to remind myself of this as well because it's been, what, five days since I last played in this save. Um, we, need to, <laughs> we need to get out of the relegation zone. Um, Saint-Étienne are... Two places above us and only two points above us. We play them on the last day of the season. So if we beat them, depending on what happens in the next game, as long as they don't win and us lose, as long as we're still, as long as they're still catchable, we know a win on that last day of the season will be enough to keep us up. Um, so we're kind of relying on them not doing very well in the first game while we do well-ish. Um, we'd quite like to avoid a relegation playoff as well if that can be avoided. But at this point, we want to stay up by any means necessary. So the first of today's two games is against Lorient. Where are they in the league? Let's have a little look. I um, Where are they? They're mid-table-ish. I mean, they've got nothing to play for, in theory. So hopefully they'll just roll over and let's tickle their bellies. Um, this is going to be the team that we play to try and do exactly that. We have Pasquier in goal, because remember, and I know it's been a while, we don't have any goalkeepers. They were all injured. Um, yeah, not not an ideal situation going into a relegation battle. Then we've got Gwenouche, Siar, Julien and Roy as our back four. Um, Jack Henry, uh, Blin and Lys Melou in midfield with Lasamba in behind Savic and Diop up front. I know I butcher all their names. I've made my peace with it over the last few days while I've been lying there watching far too much four in a bed. Um, from my bed, um, if you're not in the UK or you're not familiar with UK daytime TV... Look up four in a bed. That's a little insight to what my life has been like while I've not been very well. I didn't have enough energy to get up and change the channel. Um, yeah, we have desire. I need to read these, really. Um, yes, we're going to do everything possible. Yes, let's go and win this football match. Now, obviously, I have had... Um, in addition to losing my voice and generally being rather poorly, um, I've also had the return of the cough. So chances... We've just had a goalkeeper make us... Well, he collected a cross. It's the closest to a save we've come to for months. Um, but there is every chance, and obviously we haven't tested it yet, that the cough will return every time a goal goes in, no matter which end it goes in at. It was a problem we had a few weeks ago um, when I had the original cough, and I, I no doubt it will continue to be a problem. Um, now it's a, a cough that also had some flu attached to it. But, you know, we might not score. At the moment, we're out of the automatic relegation zone without even needing to score a goal. I mean, this would end everything now, and this would be ideal, because we go into the last game of the season knowing a, a win against San Etienne takes us above them, um, and that would be enough to then finish in automatic safety, which would be absolutely delightful. La Samba, it's just, it's just been a massive, massive deflection We've gone 1-0 up away from home and we're already above San Etienne now as it stands. We are out of the um, relegation playoff spot as of right now with a final game of the season against the team currently in the relegation playoff spot. We're basically going to be having a relegation playoff for the relegation playoff 
I mean, we've totally wrong-footed their goalkeeper there with that reflection. Reflection? Deflection. Nobody cares. Blow the final whistle now. I've called for that twice now. Sooner or later, the, the match engine needs to pay attention and realise we want the game to be over. We're 1-0 up. This would be an amazing result. Roy with a chance to cross. Can't beat that first man. And now he's badly out of position, which has drawn our centre-back across into the middle, which drew the other centre-back across behind him, which basically created all the space. They got in across and luckily just about ran out of men. But they had a man over all the way through there because they just ducked in behind our overlapping fullback. And um, yeah, now we've got similar issues on the left-hand side where our marauding left-back with a last-ditch tackle because he's out of position. And um, they have a free kick and it's whipped in and it's one all. Full-backs, eh? So we're back down, as of right now, back down into the relegation playoff spot. It is absolutely not a disaster. The last game of the season is still effectively a playoff for the playoff. We just now have to win it rather than not losing it, which would have been the situation if we'd have gone into it ahead of Sanity and on points. But there's still time for us to go back ahead in this game. And our captain, Siad Thibault, Tipo Siad, um, I, th I think that's how you all told me to say his name. We need to say it right because he's just scored an incredibly important goal for us. Jack Henry does really well to get the ball back in. And from a very tight angle, for a man who's not scored a goal for us all season long, He's the captain. He's scored when it matters. We're 2-1 up now. Um, still 25 minutes to go. We've still got to defend, which we're going to do the way only we only, the only way we know how, by continuing to attack. And that's why it's 2-2. Um, yeah. I now remember the biggest problem. We've not had a proper goalkeeper. Um, every time the opposition has a shot, stuff like this tends to happen. He did have quite a promising start to the match. And to be fair to him, he's got a hand to that. But it's not enough. And it's 2-2. And now we need another spectacular, really important goal from someone you wouldn't expect to score. I mean, to be fair, I'll take a goal from anybody. It doesn't have to be an unexpected goal. Um, let's let's bring Kamano on. I remember him. He, he's scored an important goal for us recently. I don't remember when or where or why. I just remember it happening. Um, oh, do we take Granush off? And get Raimundo on, and that's we will because he's not having a very good game, and he's already on a yellow card. And we've seen a lot of their players coming down the wings. We can't really have a a fullback not in form on a yellow card. It's asking for trouble. Um, oh, what's just happened? Isn't have now we got a uh, some of the sometimes the words just aren't coming. We've just had a player sent off, and I don't really understand what it was for. I guess he's sort of just followed through. No, no, all about that this week. Um, I, he's just sort of followed through behind one of their players, and I mean, this is a problem. This is a big problem now. Um, what do we do here? We'll take Blin off. Um, get old Brian Con on. Uh, we're gonna have to do this, and I don't want to because it's so negative and boring. But. It's a disaster if we lose. I mean, we're going to lose anyway with that two-man midfield. They're just going to completely overrun us. Here's the first one, presumably. Because um, the other thing is, we've, we've not got a goalkeeper. We we can't just sit back and defend. I know you're all screaming at me that we should have sat back and defended at that point. It would have done no good. If you defend, teams have shots against you. When you don't play with a goalkeeper, shots lead to goals. I mean, that's just terrible. Um, remember it's still not a disaster we are back down into the automatic relegation spot though and really worryingly San Etienne must be ahead in their game we're not even going to have our little playoff because as it stands with goal difference and stuff at the moment if everything finishes as it is we could beat well we can beat them and still finish below them unless we absolutely stuff them that has now become a massive problem and that red card that red card has changed everything. That's, I mean, that's, it's wrecked the season. The combination of that red card, my terrible response to it. I, and I stand by what we did. I would do the same thing again because we haven't got a goalkeeper. There's no point trying to defend. Um, but that red card, we were controlling this game until then. 
and now we go into that last game, we've got to win 3-0 to finish above St Etienne. I mean, we could still beat them and go above Nancy and have them drop down into the relegation spot and us get into the playoff. But that wonderful little playoff for the playoff, that ship has sailed now. Oh, red cards. So it all comes down to this. <sighs> Lots of changes, because I, I forgot we had loads of players suspended for the last match. Um, God, but I picked the team before saving. I always do that. Um, so I didn't even look at why the team was the way it was. Um, I just, oh, there's my team for today. Let's introduce them to you. And then I went to pick the team for this game and thought, oh, look at all these players we've got. And it's because they were suspended. It all comes flooding back now. Um, so we've got Miguel, Brian Con, and Diane coming back into the back four, which will make us a lot more solid at the back. Maloney comes back into midfield. And we're going to bring Sliger in up front ahead of Diop, just because Diop, he started well for us, but his form recently has been terrible. Whereas both Sav Savage and Sl Sliger have scored in recent matches. So we've got to win it. There's no no other way to look at this. We're going into this match as an absolute must win. Um, yeah, they're great. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do good. I'm trying to do a bit to camera. No, okay. Um, yeah, he's great as well. Yep. Uh, yeah, also great. I mean, really, what a, what a long touchline piece of nonsense that is. Um, so, we absolutely must win this match. Once we've dealt with making sure we win this match, then we're also interested in what's going on in the Nancy match. Because if we win, and we win well, um, so we've got to make up a goal difference of four, but obviously because we're playing against San Etienne, every goal we score is worth double when we're catching up goal difference. So a 3-0 win will put us above them on goal difference, which I assume is how the French league works. I'm putting a lot of my sort of a lot of weight on goal difference and it might be completely irrelevant, but I guess if it's matches between the two sides, the fact that for any of this to count we'd have to beat them is important as well. So there's that. We've got to beat them. There you go. Savage is in. It's one nil and that puts us above Nancy as of right now. Level on points with Sanity N and a goal difference of just two. So we're still banking on goal difference being the difference maker here. So if we can get to 3-0 and Nancy lose, we get into the automatic safety spot, which is fourth from bottom. If we don't manage to win 3-0, then we can't go above San Etienne. Um, there is Mets who we could effectively leapfrog as well, depending on what happens in their game, but I've not even factored them into the equation at the moment. Um, all we need to do is just make sure we win this match. As of right now, we're in a relegation playoff. But we're teetering on the brink because we're relying on what's going on in the Nancy game. It's not a comfortable situation to be in. Another goal or two in this match, in theory, puts things back in our hands again, which is where we want them to be. Because if we can win 3-0, I think we're guaranteed to not be automatically relegated anyway, assuming goal difference is a factor. So let's have some more goals, please, gentlemen. Um, go on, send him off. Why not? We had a player sent off in the last game for something very similar. He gets a warning. Brilliant. There's no fairness in this league. It's because I'm a, I'm a foreigner. I'm being picked on for being a foreigner. Um, oh, they've got a striker called Weir. That can't be good. And as soon as we notice him, he scores. And that plunge... Oh, it doesn't. That do, I mean, league position-wise, that's made absolutely no difference at the moment. Because we're drawing, Nancy must be losing in their game. I mean, we may as well not be playing with a goalkeeper if that's the best he can do in that kind of situation. That is just silly. Um, so, nothing's really changed there. Slidge is in. And see, that's the difference. They've got an actual goalkeeper in who just flies out at his feet and collects the ball from him. Um, we really need to... I mean, we, we need another three goals now. Um, come on, lads. Right, Savage. I mean, he's beaten two men there, but that's such a poor shot with two players in the middle as well. Could and should have done a lot better with that. Um, I think it might be time to get the scores in the other games on because I am interested in what's going on with Mets and what's going on with Nancy. So let's get latest scores. They can go up here. Um, so we're going to get rid of this nonsense for today because it's making it too hard to see this. So... Nancy are losing 2-1 at home to Bordeaux. I think that is, isn't it? Um, and Mets are losing 1-0 away to Nantes. 
I mean, it's on a knife edge in every game. No one is cut and dry in any game at the moment, and that is troubling. We need to be the team who go cut and dry. And, I mean, a couple of goals now, we, we'd go above Mets at the very least, I think. Would we? No, we wouldn't. It's a, three goals, we'd go level with them, but we'd go above San Etienne. But really, they're the ones coming at us at the moment. We need to be far more worried about them coming at us than... Uh, I mean, Pasquier, he looks like he can catch a cross. He can't save to save his life, but he's not too bad at catching crosses. So, there's a positive. Um, right. We need to win a football match. What on earth do we do? Maloney is not playing well. We have a proper attacking midfielder on the bench. We need to get him on the pitch. We've got Diop on the bench. He needs to get on the pitch as well. He's scored goals for us before. Today might be the day where he rediscovers that form. He's scored in like the first three matches I managed for this club. You would like to think he'd want to end the season with a bang. Um, right. Cross comes in and it, I mean there was a lot of players crowding around the goalkeeper there but he's plucked it out of the sky again rather efficiently and I mean we've just got to beat the man. Right. Diop. Back to Blin, to Lee Melu. Um, Savage, what a piece of skill from Savage. And forces another incredible save out of their goalkeeper. This is, I mean, it's unfair how well their goalkeeper's playing. It's just rubbing in the fact that we don't even have one. But that was out of this world from Savage. Um, I just don't, I don't know that we've got anything to change this game. Lee Melu, push him further forward. No, I mean... No, that substitution is not a match-winning substitution. Let's not make it. Let's not do anything. We have nobody on that. Kamano is the only person on that bench who can win this match for us. But we've got to be so careful because if we concede a goal, we get relegated. At the moment, we're in the relegation playoff spot, providing other teams and other results go our way. I'm stuck. Do we bring Kamano on? Who do we bring him on for, though? We don't. We're not going to make a change. We've got. I don't think we've got anything that's going to improve this this result for us on that bench. We just need to grab something from somewhere. Maybe we bring him on for Savage now, with three minutes to go, just for a little bit of extra pace up there. Or do we bring him on for a midfielder and just really go? But that's too risky when we've got the relegation playoff sat there. If what just happened? Something happened somewhere. Lasamba forces a save out of their keeper again. I've got to do something. I feel awful just sitting on my hands like this. We're gonna take we're gonna take Lasamba off. I know it's not a match winning substitution to do that, but we're gonna do that and we're gonna drop Savage back. And then we'll make Kamano. He can be a Oh dear. Let's do that with him. I mean it looks like we've weakened everything there, but Lasamba's not having a good game. It's the last three minutes. We just want a fresh pair of legs on there just to see if they can create anything. And they've got a break on. And if I score here, that is the worst thing in the history of the world. They haven't. I've, I'm trying to keep an eye on the other games as well. But there's so many on the screen that it's hard to keep track of what's going on with what. The only one we really care about is Nancy. They're still losing, but only by one goal. So an equaliser for them... Or a goal for San Etienne here relegates us. Right, our game is over. Their game is over. It's the relegation playoff for us, I think. If I understand how French football works. Um, so it says we've avoided relegation. But I'm sure there was a relegation playoff thing on there. But it doesn't look like there is. What's, what's that different colour there mean then? Have I misunderstood it? I mean, none of you lot have corrected me on this. Have I misunderstood this all re all season long? Bottom, it just says bottom two teams are relegated. So there's no relegation playoff. The amount of times I've said relegation playoff this year and no one said, hey Kev, that was just Scotland. Why is that a different colour? I need to know why that's a different colour. I feel like we're going to get a relegation. There is a relegation playoff. Urgh. Right, I guess that comes the next episode then and it's a two a two legger oh that's going to be horrible um if you've enjoyed that make sure you pop a like on there for me subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and thank you very much for watching